Hi, this is Wes with Robolink, and I'm going to be talking to you about how to pair uh, your Codrone Mini with Blockly. So, um, we recommend downloading Chrome because Blockly uh, was built for Chrome, and so it'll run the best there. And so, before you get Blockly running, um, you're going to want to make sure that you enable something called experimental web features on Chrome. So, in order to do that, you're going to go to Chrome colon slash slash flags and then in here there's going to be something called en enable experimental web platform features which you can type and search for in here and so you're going to want to make sure that it's enabled here and if you make a change you're going to have to relaunch Chrome. Uh, mine's already enabled so um, I don't need to relaunch but if you haven't enabled it before then you'll just have to click relaunch and then Chrome is going to uh, basically just close and start up again. Now from there, you're going to want to go to robolink.com slash blockly dash cdm, which is right here. And then in here, uh, when you click pair, um, it's going to look for devices. So before you click pair, you're going to want to plug in your remote, and you're going to hear a beep. And then you're also going to want to plug in the Kodra Mini's battery. So once both are on, you should be uh, you should have a solid light between both of them. So the drone should have a solid light and the remote should have a solid light. If you don't have that and they're blinking, that means that they aren't paired yet um, to each other. Um, so make sure that you check out how to do that um, in the manual or in the video that we provide. So once the both devices are paired, then you're going to want to have Blockly pair with uh, the remote. You click pair and then you're going to see a list of devices that uh, Chrome is able to access. And so you're going to want to look for the USB um, device. And so you're going to see some here that say USB uh, and it depends on your machine. Um, it might say a different thing and then on Windows it may say com um, something here and with the com at the end. Um, but I'm using a Mac and so I'm going to look for USB 2.0 and then um, in my case it's this one which is going to uh, have the browser talk to my remote. So from here I'm going to click connect and then I'm paired with the Codrome Mini. And so I should be able to run Codrome here.